The story of Narcissus has traditionally been interpreted as a warning against pride and self-love. It is important for LGBT history too. Narcissus is said to have come across a pool in the woods. When he leant down to drink from it, he saw the most beautiful figure in the water's reflection. He fell instantly in love with the youth, not realizing it was his own reflection. Narcissus ultimately dies from sorrow on the banks of the pool, gazing longingly at his own reflection, heartbroken that his love cannot be returned by his reflection. Hera, queen of the gods, was on the edge of her throne. A mountain nymph named Echo, renowned for her charm and chatter, was regaling her with a sensational story. But what Hera didn't know was that Echo was merely distracting her, while her husband, Zeus, was frolicking about with the other nymphs. Unfortunately for Echo, Zeus got sloppy, and Hera realized what was going on. Enraged by Echo's duplicity and powerless to stop her husband's adultery, Hera decided to silence the nymph for good. From then on, Echo could no longer enrapture listeners with her stories. She could only repeat the last words another said. As her conversations became dull and her company undesirable, Echo grew dispirited. One day, while Echo was drifting through the woods, she spotted a young man hunting deer. It was Narcissus the stunningly beautiful son of a river god and water nymph. After his birth, a seer had given his mother a cryptic prophecy. Narcissus would live a long life, but only if he never really knew himself. John William Waterhouse, by name Nino, baptized in April 6, 1849, Rome, Italy and died in February 10, 1917, London, England was an English painter of the Victorian era known for his large-scale paintings of classical mythological subjects. He is associated both with his predecessors, the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, based on their shared interest in literary subjects, just like scenes from Alfred, Lord Tennyson, John Keats, and William Shakespeare, as well as with his contemporaries, the Impressionists, as exemplified by the brushy or sketchy way he sometimes applied paint to canvas.